Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on crate training. I'm going to start a training series, so let me know if you want more of these videos. Before we jump into this video, I wanted to mention that I am officially a partner with Beyond Beanie and would love for you to check out their page. One beanie equals five meals and one bracelet equals dental care. Use the code PINOT25 to receive 25% off your your order to help children in need. Also, a huge thank you to all of our followers. You're helping us grow on social media platforms everywhere. Thank you so much, we love you all. Tip number one would be to make your crate cute and comfy. Make it a place that your dog would like to go in on their own. This tip is extremely important for puppies who are nervous or very stubborn, and it is to have positive reinforcements such as treats and toys and hugs and kisses provided at their need. This crate training journey will be hard and long, so you want to make sure that they can be as comfortable as possible and entertained. Feeding your puppies meals in their crates is the best way to get them acclimated to it and have a positive experience with every time. Just feed them every meal time in their crate. Feel free to open the door, keep it open, and close the door when they feel more comfortable to stay longer periods while eating. You may think that the only training time would be to teach basic commands, but training time also includes getting them used to the crate. This means by luring them into the crate with treats is getting them more comfortable and recognized with a positive enforcement behavior and letting them out shows that they are safe and they have the option to come and go as they please. Only close the door when you know that your puppy can successfully sit and stay in the crate without having any signs or signals of stress. After a few minutes, you would like to release them and give them a bunch of hugs and kisses and tell them that they did amazing. For our training sessions, I use the word crate and point at the crate so Peanut knows to go into the crate and stay. I also use the commands release as I release him from the crate and he gets a good job well done. In this clip, I am telling him crate, and he goes directly in, hesitant, but goes in, and is secure and safe. Then I tell him release, and he is on his way out. Please note that when you have a 8-week puppy or a younger puppy, to keep the training sessions short and sweet, don't overwork them, and don't get them stressed. Something to remember is to give your dog the option to come and go as they please. Never use the crate as a punishment. They will then associate the crate with bad behavior and punishment and will start crying even more while in the crate. Unlike Peanut, newer puppies will cry, whine, and scratch to get out. Please do not give them attention while they do so as it is rewarding them for their behavior. Remember that you need to stay strong and not let them out unless it is an emergency bathroom break. Thank you for watching this short video on how to crate train. I hope these tips have helped you. Please remember to support me on all of my social media and stay tuned for the next training tips. Who's that dog? Mr. Peanut Butter